So Tom, welcome back. Thanks, Val. Uh, how's your voice? It's all right. It's a bit rough. It's end of season. Yeah. So. How many episodes have you shot? We've just finished episode ten, so we just shot the finale. Okay. which I think is the biggest episode we've ever done. Playing the role of Lucifer has been, it is the biggest role I've taken on in my career so far. The fact that, you know, music has been a huge part of it has been great for me. When it, when it was originally written, Lucifer just was played the piano in his piano bar in Lux. Um, there was no reference to him singing or whatever, but when I was researching the character of the devil, you know, his love and appreciation of music was something that I really sort of tapped into. Welcome to Lip Roll. My name is Valerie Morehouse. I have a unique privilege to work with some of today's most influential and iconic voices. I hope to use this platform to share with you stories of my work and my experience from the field and in the studio as a celebrity vocal coach. This is a show where my guests and I are able to peel back the curtain and kind of bring you backstage and paint a picture of what it's like to be an artist, an actor, a broadcaster, and beyond while still confronting all the challenges of mental health, physical health, and spiritual health. Welcome to Lip Roll. Tom Ellis, he's so genuine and he's so kind to everybody. You meet him and you feel like you've known him your entire life. We, we just started shooting the first season and we went out on a social with some of our producers and we ended up in a karaoke bar in Vancouver. Um, I know where to start. <laughs> and um, I think I did either Mustang Sally or My Way, or probably both. Yeah. And basically, they were like, oh my God, you can sing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, before I knew it, they'd written uh, this opening of one of the episodes of me singing Nina Simone's Cinnamon. And that was the beginning of our story. has an iconic voice. I think the accent doesn't hurt. Anything he wants to do, I think sky's the limit for him. If you go to drama school, you are either going to be a dramatic actor mm. or you are going to work in musical theater and you have to make that decision. Um, and once you've made the decision, that's, that's kind of it. But I don't see that there should be a reason for that. Mm. Um, and that's where I've kind of had success, you know, uh, more recently and, and finding my voice again was that because I had a connection with what was on the page mm -hmm. in terms of um, the lyrics and understanding the text emotionally right. and having kind of an emotional connection to it. So music is a language to me. When I listen to something, it, gives, it takes me somewhere and it gives me a feeling. Um, and that's, that's, where I, that's where my acting sort of process starts. As an actor, he's he's on, and so he brings a lot of that to the vocal. And sometimes I have to separate those two a little bit and get him to leave the actor to the side and just warm up the voice slowly, and then bring the two together at the end. An athlete doesn't just turn up and do the 100 meters, they, they train and train and train and then they turn up and they knock it out of the park. Right. And you've got, to, you've got to do the same thing with singing. This is now for me not just about singing songs on Lucifer, this is about moving forward in my career as well. You know, I've started you know, playing guitar now and trying to improve on that just because it kind of makes me happy. I said I'd rather be looking for something there, praying for the rain, so I wander on till Someone else is saying. You've played a little bit for me over the years. I've known you, um, but I feel like your guitar is so much better than it was. Yeah, no, it is. I've been and working I don't, hard. I'm I don't get to hear you play well. a lot. So it, it was, it's fun just to watch you and go, well, who's this guy playing right now? It's really <laughs> cool. Ultimately, if you don't back yourself, no one else is going to. That's right. You have a unique quality. And right. that's the thing, believing that your quality is unique 
and you have something to offer that other people don't. I'm about on, on camera sip of coffee. There we go. It's good. It's very natural. I'll with, have an on camera sip of coffee. With a spectacle push. <laughs> I love it. That's what we need. all need glasses for. <laughs> Makes us look so smart. Exactly.